Hello friends and welcome to my channel, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be talking all about natural deodorant and some reasons why it might not be working for you. I feel as though natural deodorant is something that many people are behind on because antiperspirant is just reliable. You know, people are comfortable with it, they know that they're not going to smell, that they're not going to have any body odor, and that they're not going to sweat. But I want to share with you two reasons why your natural deodorant might not be working for you or why your attempts at trying natural deodorant have failed and how we can solve that problem so we can all live healthier lives. So there are some main differences between natural deodorant and antiperspirant. Natural deodorant allows your body to sweat and sweating is a natural thing for the human body to do because it helps the body release toxins. Whereas antiperspirant prevents the body from sweating, it blocks the pores and therefore those toxins stay in the body and they don't get released. So therefore when you get this buildup of toxins in the body, it can cause different skin irritations, it can cause different illnesses or diseases, it can cause so many different health complications that might not be visible initially but can change over time. and. Later down the road, after you've been using antiperspirant for a long time, you might notice these complications. Well, the second thing here is natural deodorant isn't harming to the body. It's made with natural ingredients, ingredients that the body can use, that, can, that it can absorb, because your, your skin is the biggest vessel, it is the biggest organ, and everything that goes on your skin also gets absorbed into your body. So you want to make sure that you are putting healthy, good ingredients that are okay to be absorbed into your body and not harmful chemicals. And so on the other flip side of this, antiperspirant is full of chemicals, it's full of toxins, and even if it plugs your pores and it doesn't get absorbed fully into your body, you're still obtaining some of those toxins and those chemicals in your body and those can cause long-term health complications. And the third one here is that natural deodorant can prevent odor long term. So by that I mean maybe initially you don't feel like this uh, natural deodorant is working for you. But over time it starts working, it starts working, your body is continuing to release toxins and continuing to breathe out all the bad toxins that lie within the body and eventually you might not even need to use that natural deodorant and you might be able to use nothing because your body has no toxins left in the body. Whereas antiperspirant, over time, it can actually produce a stronger body odor. And, you know, then you start using more of it, you use it more regularly, and you find that this odor is getting stronger and stronger, and that is because these toxins are getting so clogged up in your body that your body isn't able to breathe, and these toxins are just bunching up all together and that is producing a really strong odor and it is also extremely harmful to the body. Let's talk about how we can detox the pits. Number one is to just eat a healthy and balanced diet. Number two is to eat foods that sit well with your body, so avoiding foods that cause irritation, that cause bloating, that your body doesn't really like. And like I mentioned earlier on in this video, if you have an intolerance to dairy, avoiding dairy. This also includes eating less processed foods. I'm not saying to cut them out completely because that is also part of our well-being and having a balanced lifestyle is eating those fun foods, but we have to be aware of how much we are consuming and make sure we are still getting enough whole, healthy, balanced foods as well. And the third thing here that you can do is an armpit detox and we are going to do one together. And this is so, so simple and it's something that you can do every couple months or every three months or every four months or every time you feel like this natural deodorant is no longer doing its job. And the one that I do is a combination of Mennonite clay, a combination of apple cider vinegar and water. So we're going to mix one tablespoon of Mennonite clay, half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and then enough water to make a paste. We're gonna let that sit on our pits for as long as it takes for the clay to harden and then we're going to wipe it off and that is a really really great way to remove the toxins in that area of your body and then you can reapply that natural deodorant that you use and you will notice a huge difference in the body odor that you are producing. So before applying it, if you have anything on your underarms, I recommend that you remove 
start just with a damp paper towel or a washcloth or anything like that. Um, I am just using a damp paper towel and I'm just going to gently wipe my underarms. Alright, so I don't really have anything to apply this with. This is what the paste looks like. And I am just going to apply it with my finger and then wipe my fingers off afterwards. You kind of just want to dab it on like that. I know, so cute. And let it dry. And when it dries, I will show you what it looks like before I wash it off. Alright, so while this armpit mask is still hardening, <laughs> I want, wanted to share some other reasons why maybe you're smelling more than you should. <laughs> so when I talked about what goes on your skin goes in your body. This also includes other lotions and products that you use on your skin. It's really, really important to take note of the ingredients that are in these products because using ingredients that are high or using products that are high in chemicals and um, other toxins or things that are toxic to your body are going to also cause that odor and it's going to be in your skin because your skin is an organ that absorbs everything that goes on it. So making sure that you are being very conscious of the ingredients that are in your products that you're using is also going to help you combat odor and be able to use that natural deodorant. The pit mask has been sitting on for about 20 minutes now. It is not fully dry. You can see where it is dry and where it is more of like a tacky, um, but it really just depends on the environment you're in and how cold the room is that you're in because it will take longer to dry, but it has been on for 20 minutes now, so I'm going to dab it off with a wet towel. So I have a wet towel here and you just want to gently dab it like this. So for the areas that are dry, you definitely want to dab them and then you can just wipe it all together. Just wipe it off like that. You might notice a little bit of redness and that is totally okay. It is very much likely just due to the friction of the towel against your skin. And we're just going to wipe it off. Just like that. <laughs> All right, so that is just another way that you can detox your armpits before applying a natural deodorant for the first time or after a few months of using one, you're still finding that you have that body odor. That's an amazing way to cleanse your body, to cleanse that area so you can reduce the odor. I hope you found this video helpful in regards to natural deodorant and are thinking of switching to a natural deodorant, trying it out for the first time. It's really all about finding what works for you and finding a natural deodorant that prevents the odor but allows your body to breathe, allows your body to sweat, and that feels good on your skin. You know, it's something that you have to be very, very patient with in finding the product that works for you. So I hope you found this video helpful and informational. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below. Again, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, whatever you want to do, I would love to stay connected. So until the next one, I will chat with y'all soon. Bye.